Clean, accessible water for all is an essential part of the world we want to live in. There is sufficient fresh water on the planet to achieve this. However, due to a lack of skills, knowledge and infrastructure, many countries in the world are affected by water scarcity, poor water quality and inadequate sanitation. Up to 50% of water is lost through leaks in cities in the developing world. By 2025, 1.8 billion people will be living in countries or regions with absolute water scarcity, and two-thirds of the world's population could be living under water-stressed conditions. The lack of trained people in the water and wastewater sector presents a major challenge in responding to these emerging issues. When you do not have skilled people in water and wastewater sector, it means that all the millions of dollars that you spend to put in the infrastructure goes to waste because the persons do not know how to operate the systems properly. They do not know simple things that would make a very good wastewater treatment system function well. So you need skilled persons at a wastewater plant who knows what they're doing to keep the environment safe. Technical and vocational education and training, also called TVET, can play a very important role in bridging the gaps between labour market demands and the supply of trained people in the water and wastewater sector. There is a need to address emerging technologies and innovation in the water and wastewater sector. With support from the German Association for Water, Wastewater and Waste, the UNESCO UNIVOC International Centre has developed a practical booklet to foster the development of emerging skills needed in the water and wastewater sector. It explores the labour market needs relevant to the introduction of new technologies, trades and competencies. The difference is uh, technology which uh, came up. We have uh, every water supply and wastewater has computers nowadays. Every worker should know how to use the computers. Uh, this has changed a lot of SCADA system, that means uh, far distance uh, measurements is now, a lot of sensors are available. So these are the new technology what uh, what operator should learn and should know. The booklet features different occupations in the water and wastewater sector. For example, water supply engineering technicians, plant mechanics for sanitation, heating and air conditioning systems, water engineering technicians, and wastewater engineering technicians. However, the various regions in the world have different demands and face a wide range of skills development challenges which need to be addressed in their local context. The booklet features contemporary issues and practical approaches in TVET from regional perspectives. Through providing a variety of resources, the booklet aims at supporting TVET educators and practitioners in understanding, planning and adapting their approaches for the development of emerging skills needed for the water and wastewater industry. The toolkit aims to create awareness and understanding of the emerging skills needed in the water and wastewater sector. There is a twofold objectives, to create awareness an understanding of the emerging skill needed in this sector and to contribute to the capacity development of the Tibet teachers, educators. Promoting learning for the world of work, ensuring equal access to clean water for all. We do not create water, we just use it, treat it, we use it again and again. Just by using technology, you can make something that most people think is an obnoxious trade and make it into something beautiful.